Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is part three, well, I should say step three, if you will, if you're following the steps of the one system. So what I'm doing in these videos is I'm showing you how to execute the full one system in basically the order that you would do the steps. Um, but I'm leaving it open to you guys to be able to fill in the blanks because you don't have to do it exactly how I do it. There's so many different variations and options within this one system product line that you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but I'm basically showing you how I would execute, execute my one system package at detailjuice.com. So if you want to see my packages and you follow my products, I have no problem with you checking out the packages and trying to figure it out, you know, figure out putting your own together based on mine, especially if you're using my products. So uh, as far as that goes, I'm showing you the steps that I take when I'm doing the one system package for a customer. So now we're on step three, essentially. Step one was the wash. Um, step two was decontamination and clay bar and all of that. And then uh, this is going to be the next step. So this step, it doesn't have to be step three. Um, you could skip polishing uh, altogether. You don't have to cut polish or even do an all-in-one you could just go right into coating or protecting if that's what you prefer after you decontaminate with the clay bar and universal clean and prep and then do the universal clean and prep wipe wipe down you could literally go right into any of the protective products in the one system but in true one system fashion if you'll remember when i originally launched the one system two years ago we only had one polish in the one system that was universal all in one. And so that product cuts really well. It finishes exceptionally well, and it leaves behind our ceramic acrylics blend. So you are getting six to nine months respectively of protection with just universal all in one. But we found that when you're going from universal all in one into the coatings, even though the primer was in universal all in one, it is, always better to do a universal clean and prep wipe down at one part product to seven parts water so one to seven uh, prior to polishing or applying any protective product so now if you're going to use any of my polishes in the one system you want to use universal clean and prep to do a wipe down after the polishing at one part product to seven parts water now that product can be diluted up to one part product 11 parts water and it's still very effective but i've found that one to seven works best for pretty much everything and that's how i dilute it for a leather cleaning wheel and tire cleaning prep decontamination all of that i use it one to seven um, again better value can be had diluting it more with great cleaning power i just like it at that ratio so with all of that said, we are on step three, and I would traditionally polish this with Universal All-in-One and then jump into the coatings after this, and that would be pretty much the one system package. But when I purchased this car last April, so almost a year ago, uh, it had a lot of water spots on it. And you can see, if you come right over here, you can see all these etched water spots. I, can you see that in the camera? Yes. Okay, so there's all these water spots. So I put a piece of tape here because I'm going to polish this side. I'm not going to polish this side. You notice all these spots that are here. Um, and I've got small scratches here and there. It is what it is. Um, I wash this car pretty regularly, but this is the first real detail I will have done on it. So we're looking to get rid of these water spots. Um, these are etched in. They're not just sitting on top. They have uh, etched into the clear coat. So what we need to do is take that top layer of clear coat off. And so because all I'm looking to do is remove these water spots, I have zero interest in attacking swirls and scratches. All I'm looking for on my car is enhanced gloss, clarity, and shine. I'm looking to remove these water spots that bother me because the light scratches it might have underneath, they don't bother me. If they bother you, then you need to go ahead and cut them out and finish them and then move on with the detail like that. But as far as the one system package goes, most people want gloss enhancement. 
you're looking to tone down the scratches and enhance the gloss. And personally, that's the consumer that I am. I want clean, shiny, and clear. I'm not really going to pay a lot of attention to the lighter micro marring that might be on the car. So with that said, that's how I prefer to tackle things. So we've got the three one system polishes. We've got what you guys already know and love, Universal All-in-One. Um, the abrasives in Universal All-in-One are brand new for 2021. It is essentially the same abrasive system we're using in uh, Smart Finish, but you're gonna get a little bit less cut with Universal All-in-One than you will with Smart Finish. Uh, but you do get the added benefit of having the ceramic acrylics blend in uh, Universal All-in-One. So. We've got smart cut and smart finish. And notice they're written because I don't have the labels yet. But I needed to shoot these videos, so here we are. So I'm gonna bypass smart cut because I just don't care to cut that deep. It's a newer car, I keep good care of it, but what bothers me when I look at it are these water spots, which again, were on there when I bought it. Um, so I'm gonna bypass smart cut for this video. Now, if you want to see more about Smart Cut, Smart Finish, Universal All-in-One, I will have independent videos that you can go back and look at uh, on these polishes. Uh, so check those out uh, as soon as you watch these videos so that you can see more about the polishes and what they do and their bigger benefits. So I'm going to put down the Smart Cut and we're going to only deal with Smart Finish. Uh, Water-based, VOC-free, I always recommend to uh, shake every product up before you ever use it. I am going to be doing this demonstration with my brand new and amazing DCM848 by DeWalt. This is the 15 millimeter dual action cordless polisher from DeWalt. This is the backing plate that it comes with. It is vented. It's pretty amazing. No need to upgrade that. Uh, it does, that backing plate that it comes with does accept the uh, five and a half inch buff and shine pads that I sell on detailjuice.com. So that's awesome. So center the pad on the backing plate. Make sure your battery is charged. Um, I use the five ampere hour batteries. They seem to be a good balance uh, as far as bulk and weight. Any bigger than this, it kind of gets a little bit wonky. So. Smart finish uh, to prime. I'll just use three pea-sized dots. You put it on the surface, spread it around. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and use it on 5,500 RPM. So when I'm polishing anything with my polishes, I do two to three passes for a section pass. So I'll do one up and down, one side to side, and a lot of times I'll stop right there because it's water-based like I mentioned earlier, and as far as the water goes, it will dry out faster than a solvent-based oil lubricated polish will. Uh, I see a couple little spots on here real quick. Actually, I spent all of the polish down there on the side of the quarter.
much more better. All right, so if you'll notice, we're doing this in direct sunlight, no problem at all. These polishes seem to do great in direct sunlight. Um, it's always better if you polish out of direct sunlight. But look, if you're like me and you're looking to make that dollar and you're hungry, you'll polish wherever you got to polish to make that dollar. And that's kind of where I'm at. Now, the tape line is here. Let's see if we can get some angles. So you got your tape line right there. It's hard to see. Let me see. Yeah, you can see all those spots. And then where I polish, there are none. So we've got spots galore. And then they hit the floor. <laughs> so before and after spots no spots and that's it so i get it how i like it then i move straight on from that so as far as the polishing goes the the polishing step and the next step are related in the way that you have to spray the panel down now with universal clean and prep diluted one part product to seven parts water so after you polish you put a little universal clean and prep on just like so rub it in like i mentioned in the last video you're going to get some haze that's the primer being left behind so now in the next step, you're going to find that uh, we spray on some Super 7, and then immediately you can spray on some triple trifecta top coat right on top of that. And that's what I call the Super 7 Extreme Package, where you'll get Super 7 and then triple trifecta top coat right on top of that. So it extends the longevity of Super 7 from 7 years to 10. So that's how we polish. That's how we prep. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll show you how to apply Super 7 and Triple Trifecta top coat uh, on your, your vehicle after you've already done all your prep and your polishing. Thanks so much for watching these videos, guys. If I can help you in your detailing endeavors, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. Give me a call, leave me a voicemail, send me a message, find me on Facebook, Instagram, gary.dean.35. Uh, any of those ways to contact me are great. And uh, again, if I can help you in your detailing endeavors, please let me know. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So a whole lot more talk about what you're watching now. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Check out the next video.